Document tabs are a new feature in Google Docs that gives you tabs or extra pages within your same Google Doc. And here are five ways that you can use document tabs. Document tabs are like having multiple Google Docs in the same Google document. Expand out the document outline and add additional document tabs. This allows you to create more like a notebook, which really facilitates more clearly communicating and collaboration. The first way to use document tabs in a Google Doc is to break it up. When you open a Google Doc and it has so many words, it can feel overwhelming and for some students, paralyzing. Create multiple tabs in your Google Doc to provide shorter chunks of information. Already have a Google Doc that's too long? Create tabs and highlight chunks of your text and use Control X to cut. Move those over to another document tab by clicking on it and using Control V to paste. Moving these chunks to other tabs helps you to space it out. The second way to use document tabs in Google Docs is to separate student work from directions. This is another way to break up Google Docs. If you separate instructional information or directions from where students respond. So put information on one tab and then use the three dots on the tab to add a subtab. This subtab is for students to record their response. This makes it faster to zero in on student answers rather than scrolling through document. The third way to use document tabs is of course to collaborate. Before document tabs, it was a little challenging to have more than two to five people in a Google Doc at the same time. As one person types, the text moves down and you might be competing for the same cursor space. Document tab solves this! Give each person their own tab. They can even put their name on it and signify it with a chosen emoji. Now everyone is in the same Google Doc, but in their own. And number four is you can use document tabs to organize task completion. You can move tabs into other tabs as subtabs. For example, start with some big ideas like a brainstorm tab, a feedback tab, and a finalize tab. Now you're going to start a tab underneath brainstorm and when you're ready for feedback you're going to move it into the feedback tab and then move it into the finalize tab so you can see what stage in the process you're at on that idea. Number five is to persevere in problem solving. Now, this isn't just doing more problems, but rather that students will build upon their understanding over time. Rather than give all the directions and tasks up front, add more to the Google Doc in a document tab. Start with an overview of the project, have students brainstorm in a different tab, research in another. In another tab, have them apply something they learned to their class to their project and continue this until the project is completed. Learn more about document tabs and teaching with Google Workspace at alicekeeler.com.